Hey guys, today we're going to make a very sweet and original dessert. Do you want to see it? Click on play and join the fun with Alex and Lily. Hi, Kira. Hi, Max. Today we are playing the dessert roulette. There are cookies, waffles, ice cream, and cupcakes. Let's see what we get. Do you have any preferences? Hmm, pancakes it is! Great, we can play decorating them! <laughs> this is great! You are dressed as pastry chefs already! <laughs> great, let's get to it then! Because I think our cupcakes are... Ready! <laughs> let's turn the oven off so we can take them out! Though, using a glove so we don't burn our hands! Mmm, they smell really good. Let's work on your cupcake first. Kira, how do you want to decorate it? You can think of a drawing or the face of a character. A unicorn! <laughs> That's so original, Kira. Let's go for it. First, let's go for a white base. That is the base color of a unicorn. So we get to use the pastry bag. For the hair, we'll use pink, made of strawberry. However, for the eyes, I think we'll need something different. We'll use these chocolate balls. But you're missing the most important thing, the horn, which we'll make with the tip of an ice cream cone. Ta-da! Here is your unicorn cupcake, Kira. Was that easy or what? Come on, Max. Let's go for yours. <laughs> That's such a cool idea. First, we need a blue base. However, for the eyes, this time we'll use black and white chocolate balls. But we'll make them a bit more fun. For the mouth, of course. I know, if it's a cookie monster, its mouth should be full of cookies. <laughs> Your cupcake is ready, Max. They look so good you almost don't want to eat them, huh? <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Don't eat them yet. I still need to decorate one for me. Mine will be the most famous mouse in the whole world. <laughs> Ta-da! Isn't it super cool? We now know how to decorate cupcakes. <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, Ruby. Today we'll learn how to follow a recipe that's good for both dessert or an afternoon snack or even for a birthday party. It's also pretty healthy because it's got fruit in it and very yummy because there's also caramel in it. <laughs> I'm talking about caramel apples. Here, grab your aprons, girls. Now we are ready to start. The first thing is getting the caramel ready. In order to do this, we'll heat up some water. And what other ingredients do we need to make caramel, Kira? Very good. Sugar. Without a doubt, you are such a kitty chef. <laughs> Second step now, adding corn syrup. That's it, Ruby. This will give a delicious taste to it. Hmm. I think we also need to add some food coloring. <laughs> you are really into it today, girl. Also, this way, the caramel will have the same color as the apples. We are going to get the fruit ready. The first thing will be getting rid of these parts. Where do we throw them now, girls? Excellent. To the food waste bin. Now we need to use these chopsticks and stick them into the apples. The caramel is ready! So finally, the best part! When we get to soak the apples in the caramel! <laughs> if we want them to look perfect, we need to get them out at the right time! Because the caramel gets cold and solidifies! It smells amazing! What else do you think we can add? Great idea! We'll use these colored chocolate sprinkles. Wow, 
Wow, girls! It looks awesome! Time to try them now! A little bit for Kira. And also for Ruby! So, girls, is it good? Great! You now know how to make caramel apples! <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's almost time to get up. <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, Max. It's so good you woke up already. Do you know what? Today, I have a delicious surprise for breakfast. I'll show you how to cook a yummy French recipe. Croissants. They are also really easy to make. And you can do it with chocolate, whipped cream, cream, or even ham and cheese. <laughs> do you want to go to the kitchen? Here are the main ingredients. Flour, puff pastry, and eggs. Let's go for it, guys. First, we have to sprinkle the flour dough on the surface so the dough doesn't get stuck. Now, let's get the puff pastry roll and spread it out over the flour. One roll will be enough for some croissants. <laughs> now watch carefully. We are going to give them the shape we want. In order to do that, we need to cut the dough in triangles. And now we have to roll them. Careful with this. It's important to start with the widest side so you will get the shape we are looking for. We'll hold the corners a little bit so they have the shape of a half moon. And done! What do you think? Is it easy or what? However, before putting them in the oven, we need to wet them with a beaten egg so they'll have a golden and shiny color. True, Kira. I almost forgot. We can fill them with chocolate. We only need to put the cocoa cream on the wider side of the croissant. And the next steps would just be the same. Rolling, folding the ends of it, and adding some egg. If we want, we can also add some more chocolate on the top. We just need to put it in the oven for 10 minutes for them to be ready. Mmm, they look so good! Let's enjoy a yummy breakfast of baby bottles with milk and croissants stuffed with chocolate. Hi, Lily. Hi, Alex. Now that I think of it, we haven't cooked in a while, have we? Well, what do you say we prepare some dessert? Great. Let's see what's on our wheel today. There are biscuits, waffles, ice cream and cupcakes. I wonder which we'll get. What about you guys? What kind of dessert would you like to prepare? Mmm, it's landed on cupcakes! Yay! We'll get to decorate them! Let's see what we come up with! Well done! You've already dressed up as pastry chefs! <laughs> Great! Let's get started because I think the cupcakes are ready! First off, let's turn off the oven! And now we take out the cupcakes with an oven mitt so as not to burn ourselves. Here we go. Let's do your cupcake first, Lily. How would you like to decorate it? Think of a cartoon or a character's face. A unicorn! <laughs> That's so original, Lily. Well, let's see how we can go about it. Let's begin with a white base. We'll use the whipped cream piping bag for that. Okay, now we'll use the strawberry piping bag for the mane. And for the eyes, we'll use these little chocolate balls. Doesn't it look good? And now this wafer cone tip will be perfect for the horn. Ta-da! A unicorn cupcake! How easy was that, huh? Come on, Alex, let's do yours next. <laughs> The cookie monster? That's brilliant! Well, in that case, we'll have to use the blue piping bag for the base. And for the eyes, we'll use the chocolate balls again. This 
this time they need to be sort of wild. <laughs> and for the mouth, if this is supposed to be the cookie monster, then his face ought to be stuffed with biscuits. <laughs> Done! They look so pretty that it's almost a pity to eat them. <laughs> oh, wait! Don't eat them yet. We still have to make mine. Done! That's how you make a quick Mickey Mouse cupcake! <laughs> okay now, bon appetit! If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel! And join our great Toon Toon Games family! Okay.